Okay, little absolute value inequality now. So we just solved an absolute value equation, kind of refresh our memory. Now we're going to solve absolute value, but it's an inequality. Very similar process. Isolate the absolute value, write both equations, and solve it. So let's go ahead and do that. <clears throat> let's add 2 over to the other side. So we'd have absolute value negative 10 plus 8x is greater than or equal to 38. So we've got our absolute value isolated. We're ready to go ahead and write our two equations. So positive case, right? Just kind of follow maybe what I did before. You don't need to do the arrows, but I'm just illustrating. Always going to get two equations here. So we've got our positive case, nothing changes. Just get rid of those absolute values. So negative 10 plus 8x greater than or equal to 38. And then the negative case, I'm going to write it this way just to illustrate something. So negative 10 plus 8x greater than or equal to 38. Same thing, but remember you'd have a negative sign here. Then when we bring that negative through the other side, you're going to end up switching that inequality symbol. So once you do a few of these, I usually just jump right to that step and I just write my second equation like this. But that's why. We put a negative here, right? Take it through and you've got to switch your inequality. So now we've got our two equations. Let's go ahead and solve them. So add 10 to both sides. So 8x greater than or equal to 48 and divide my 8 so x is greater than or equal to 6 and for my second equation add that 10 over 8x less than or equal to what negative 28 divide our 8 x is less than or equal to negative 28 eighths <clears throat> and if we reduce that what do we get um, Gosh, we could take a 4 out of both of those. So x is less than or equal to negative 7 halves, I want to say. Okay, we're not quite done. We want to write these answers with interval notation. Okay, so I like to just do a quick sketch. kind of picture what's going on, uh, what interval we're looking at. So greater than or equal to 6. So that would be everything that direction. Less than or equal to negative 7 halves. That would be everything this direction. That tells me I've got a union. So I've got all of this stuff, all of this stuff. So let's just formalize it. So negative infinity, negative 7 halves. This, by the way, I start the year and I keep having interval notation show up on our concept checks so that when we run into these problems, you feel really comfortable writing it, okay? So it's one thing we solve it correctly, but then we want to put the answer in interval notation as well. So there is our example, very similar. Isolate absolute value, write your two equations, solve it, write your solution set using interval notation.